In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a Shopify store in Nigeria. So this video is only going to cover how you can set up a Shopify store and pay for your subscription because I have someone that reached out to me that anytime he creates his own Shopify store, they always shut it down. So that is why I'm creating this video so that you can create a Shopify store properly without getting it shutting down. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So right here, I just want to come to the official um, Shopify website. What you want to do is to come here and click on this start free try. What I usually like to do is I like to log in using Google, but sometimes maybe if I'm using a custom email, I can use a, an email address. That is my name, let me just say support as my domain name.com. So I can try to put that here. But in this video, I'm going to be using Google account. So just click on this Google icon. So it's going to redirect you to Google. So I'm just going to click on the Google account. Then I'm going to click on continue. Then I'm going to click on create Shopify store. Okay, so it's trying to create the store right now. All right, so as you can see, the store has been set up, right? So I think when most people made mistake, I don't know, but I've seen like at least three people that reached out to me that their Shopify store was shut down. But in my own case, I've never experienced that kind of issue before. So I can click here to select plan. You can see that I say the basis is one dollar for the first month, right? So it all depends on what you are trying to achieve. But in most cases, you want to go with this basis. So select it. Now, what I usually do at this point is that I like to use paper, and the reason why I like to use paper is because it's kind of less stressful to just pay with your PayPal account, right? It's kind of less stressful. Now, I do like to use credit card at all. That is, I like to use card to pay as well, but nine out of ten i'm going to be going with paper like paper paying with paper but in this particular video i'm not going to be paying with paper i'm going to be paying with my credit card so the card i usually use is great virtual dollar card right so if you have great virtual card it's going to work so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to pay with my great virtual card but before then i'm just going to come back to this store right so let me come back so that i can set everything up properly come to setting Click on user um, um, permission so you can see the user here is this person name which is not my real name so i might want to change the name to the name that match my with my id card because in some cases they might they might close it down your account or you might have issue with your account and they are going to ask you to send an id they are going to ask you to send like id card that match with this name so what i want to do right now is that I'm just going to edit that name. So for me to edit that name, what I have to do is to come to this um, this name, then click on this view account setting. Then I'm going to choose the account right here. Then right here, you can see that I can actually do some editing. So my first name is going to be Samuel. Then the last name is... So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to click on save. So once I save it, I'm just going to come back here and refresh. Okay, you can see the name has been changed. So you can come back to plan. Then we want to choose a plan. So we are going to go with this basis. Then right now you can see that the name has been adjusted. So now I'm going to go ahead and input my great virtual dollar card details right here. All right, so this first page is going to be the page um, where you are going to put all the card details. But if you show down here, you can see there is another details here, which is for for accuracy task calculation. Please provide the location of your business. So, if you are using a UK business, if you are using a UK business, you might want to change this, or if you want to use your Nigeria address, you can put your Nigeria address here. So, once you fill all these necessary details, you want to come back here and click on subscribe. All right, you can see that the payment has went through. So, right now they are going to has to um, add more business detail right so because i use nigeria to register this account which i might later change to my uk business address but for now i have to add the nigeria address so i'm just going to go ahead and add the city then the state uh, i'm going to add state then the city the postal code is already there the city add my phone number then once i'm done with that i'm just going to click on this confirm business address so that is just it. You have successfully um, opened a Shopify store and also pay for your subscri Shopify subscription. So if you come to this setting, 
and you come to plan you can see that you already have a plan you there is a plan here so you can, you can see that this is when they are going to charge you the 32 dollars what i usually do before now is that i usually mark this like three or four days ahead before they before they charge me so that i will know if the store is not doing well i can quickly cancel the subscription so that i will not be charged for that amount so we want to keep that in mind so basically that is how you can set up a shopify store in nigeria and also pay for your subscription you can also pay with paper i like to pay with paper but in this particular video i just decide to pay with my great virtual card so that is everything we are going to cover in this video my name is sam green and on this channel i talk about how you can run and grow your e-commerce business how you can run a facebook advert and how you can design websites so if you want to get more of my content like this don't forget to like this video share with your friend subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification so that anytime i drop a new video just like this you'll be among the first people to be notified